Hello, welcome to Toga Astro Sky X Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a T point model using Sky X with your Paramount. The first step, we're going to check a few things that we have to have to everything to work properly. The first thing is under our documents folder, we need to make sure documents, software BISC, SkyX Professional, Geometry. We need to make sure that this file is in, is in the right directory. This file is not part of the SkyX. It is a free add-on. It's included in your thumb drive or is downloadable from software BISC's website. So the f one thing is we need to make sure that we have File it is such it is fairly large file it is one and a one point seven gigs. But we need to have that file. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go under tools, image link, and under all sky. The blind option needs to be checked, and all these three boxes have to be checked for all sky to work. In a in fairly fast and reliable fashion. Our next step is to go to the telescope tab, T point add-on, calibration run. And we're going to select automatic automated calibration. Here, there are a few things we need to check. The use all sky image link has to be checked. The exposure time and the binning, and the filter depends on your particular system uh, depending on your uh, ratio of your how fast your telescope is depending on how uh, sensitive your camera is but it need to be with the exposure enough exposure and enough binning that you should be able to see minimum of eight to ten stars in each exposure currently i set it for one second one, three by three with filter uh, either with a clear or luminescence filter the next one is this image scale this image scale has to be accurate to get that we could either calculate it based on our pixel size of our camera and the focal length of our telescope or simply use this button right here and skyx will calculate and suggest uh, that value for us so let's test that go ahead and wait so just uh, I'm using a camera sim simulator with the images coming from the deep sky survey but uh, using the tells uh, your camera the procedure is identical so the download is complete here's our image there you go so sky access calculated at the uh, our image scale is 5.10 arc seconds per pixel. You want to use this? Yes. So next, next one. Let's minimize this. Next step is to go into the next tab and set the number of points that we like to use. These will limit the sky. This will do the lower limit. This will be the, the upper limit in case you have a long refractor with a wide tripod. You could make it so that tripod doesn't look straight up. I mean, the, your OTA doesn't point straight up. You can also do partial sky or the whole sky. The number of points is set by the slider right here. We could do from anywhere from hundreds to a few. For the initial run, I would recommend at least 16 points, 12 to 16 points to have a good pointing model and have a good uh, polar alignment report. It's always a good idea to set it for more than what we actually need. So I said 16, so let's set it for 20 in case some of the points fail due to trees, clouds, or anything else that may go wrong with our uh, model run. Another important thing is to set an exposure delay right here of 
three to five seconds. This is to prevent the mount Sky X to initiate the camera before mount, mount settles after the slew. So it's a good idea to have a little exposure delay right here. Our next step is to go to the next tab and hit run. Uh, we're going to do a full calibration. This is going to uh, have our mount here. We need to make sure our location and time are perfect. Our temperature is accurate, our pressure is accurate, and humidity is accurate. All, the, all everything has to be accurate, as accurate as uh, possible here. So next we'll hit OK. And your power mount at this point will turn into a robot and will go around to all these targets. Blue, take a picture, image link, and add that sample into our pointing our, our model. Here we go, we're taking the picture. It's image linking. Point sample added. And if you look here, here's the first our first pointing sample. And it's gonna go around and do all these 20. So we'll come back when it's done. As we can see, the printing samples are done. Some of them have failed for whatever reason. This, this one says object too low. Yours uh, may be, uh, image link may fail because not enough stars or some other reason. So good thing we added the extra ones uh, that we originally wanted because we ended up with 17 samples instead of the 20 that we asked for. Uh, this is a normal situation. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click our model tab and click on supermodel. This is going to give us our, our best possible uh, solutions to have uh, our pointing perfectly. As good as it's going to get. So we're going to apply here. So the model is applied to our the sky x right now to the t point and now we're going to go check our polar alignment uh, since this is a simulator uh, it's giving me a report that is saying the alignment is excellent but in, in real uh, world situations this is going to give us a, uh, a description of how far our elevation and our azimuth offsets are and the next uh, of my video uh, I'm going to explain how we use this information to use the accurate polar alignment routine to fix our uh, polar alignment this also gives this report also gives you in minutes or arc minutes or arc seconds of degrees uh, what the polar alignment error is. It will say uh, your, just like here, for rotate uh, your mount clockwise so many degrees and so many ticks on the power mount calibrated adjustment knobs. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please contact me on my website at www dot tolgaastro dot com thank you